What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys another guide for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be going over all 19 rare Pokemon spawn locations in the Grand Underground. You guys already know the deal. If you do find this video informative or just enjoy it as a whole, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. And also guys, let me know in the comment section down below other guides you guys would like to see in Pokemon BDSP because I would love to bring it to you guys. So if you guys do have if you have any suggestions leave them down in the comment section down below i'll get back to you guys as soon as possible and probably make those guides a reality by putting a video out on it but like i said 19 rare pokemon spawn a lot of these pokemon do spawn in multiple different biomes but we're just going to be hopping the biome to biome showing you guys what pokemon you guys can find there and showcasing me catching them but the first place we are actually going to be getting started off at is this spacious cave right here and in the spacious cave you can find magnemite Lickitung, Rhyhorn, Houndoom, Swablu, and Absol. Those are the six Pokemon you guys can find here. I have a list up right next to me, so if you guys see me glancing over, that is why I'm just looking at my list, making sure I catch every single Pokemon. And you would think Tauros would be a rare spawn here, but he is not. He is not a rare spawn. But like I said, 19 rare Pokemon. I don't think we found one right here, but I am actually doing this post game, which I should mention because they are easier to find post game and you guys can actually make your rare chances spawn rates go up by placing statues on the typings that you guys want to find them at. But I think we should be fine just finding most of these rare Pokemon because a lot of them aren't too bad. There is Rhydon right there, but here is Rhyhorn and I'm actually going to catch this for you guys just to showcase me catching every single Pokemon that is a rare spawn. But here's my boy. We're just going to throw a quick ball at him. I feel like quick ball should be able to do most of the work. So... Hopefully, we guys can just huck a bunch of quick balls, get the catches real quick, and showcase every single rare spawn for you guys. But we're not just going to be running around and showcasing me just trying to find them all. I'll definitely be skipping and cutting to certain parts of it. But we should be able to catch Rhyhorn pretty quick with a quick ball. Yep, quick ball is the way to go. A lot of these guys are first evolutions, so they will not be too hard to catch. So check one off the list of the 19 right there. That is awesome. Rhyhorn into my Pokedex. I actually don't have a lot of these guys in my Pokedex. So this will be a first time catch for me as well. So we got Rhyhorn down in the books. Let's just do a quick little in and out and see if any other Pokemon do spawn for us. So bang, bang. We right back after. Show me a Swablu. I think Swablu is the rarest one out of this group. So hopefully we can find him rather quickly. There is a Milk Tank. Milk Tank is not a rare spawn, which is weird. Another Rhyhorn. Another Rhyhorn. And maybe we'll find someone up here. Maybe, maybe. Nope. Milk Tank's just there. So nothing on this roll. Right up here is another rare spawn. We do have Houndoom right here. I'm not going to be catching them for you guys because I feel like Houndoom spawns in so many frequent spots and a lot of people see him. But we did find another little rare boy. And this guy is a little bit rarer than most. And this is Magnemite over here. And everybody loves himself some Magnemite because it evolves into Magnezone in this game. And Magnezone is an absolute unit. Electric and Steel, just an absolute beast. Definitely gives Magnemite more value than what it used to have. Like, obviously, back in, like, Gens 1 to 3, nobody really wanted a Magneton on their team. But when you make it evolve into Magnezone, everyone's like, yo, let's get that thing. But here we go. Catch a Magneton there, there, or I should say Magnemite. And we also got to show off where Houndoom is here as well. Look at this. A double banger here. And I think these are the two rarest Pokemon in this biome right here. Swablu and Absol. We're going to catch the Swablu first. Get rolling with that. And then the Absol after that. And then I think we only have one more left, which would be Lickitung in this biome. So like I've been saying, like post game, it's not that hard to catch these guys. Because they spawn a lot more. But like pre-game, they are actually uh, decently tough to catch. They are decently tough to catch. Because they're a lot rarer in the uh, before the post game. But we're going to throw a quick ball here. And that's a critical catch right there, baby. Let it do one little wiggle and click it on down. Perfect money. And we faked that thing out. Did a decent amount of damage considering I have a level 100 Weebile. And yo, shout out to everybody who sends me Pokemon for competitive teams. I know a lot of people have been asking like, yo, Jeans, how you have all these perfect Pokemon and all that good stuff. Fans have been sending them to me. And I'm gonna take them i'm gonna take them to make content for you guys so hopefully you guys do all do enjoy all the content that we're bringing for competitive pokemon battles but um absol right here as one of the rarest ones in this biome uh, like i said it's absol and swablu and lickitung i think lickitung's up there as well but i think i think absol and uh i think absol might have the highest percentage out of the the three there but we're just gonna fake this thing out do a nice little chunk of damage bring it down low and then just throw a nice lovely ultra ball which should be able to catch it I probably should have went for the quick ball first turn, and then, but then I can't fake out after that. And I know fake out won't kill most of these guys, so it's really good. Ultra ball's going to get thrown, and there we go. Lock it down. Five out of the six. Last but not least, we have the one and only Lickitung. This Pokemon cracks me up every time I look at it. It is just hilarious, and I really wanted that one to be shiny because 
Licky Licky and Lickitung have phenomenal shinies. They're kind of just like all gold and looking amazing. They are looking amazing. But such a cool Pokemon here. Uh, I could fake it out, but I just think a quick ball is just going to do the job. So let me scroll over to my quick balls. Rip through it like that. Come here, boy. Let's get it a one-time catch. Come here. Come on, yo. Quick ball. Do me good. I didn't want to hurt this poor thing. And of course, of course, he pops out of it. So we are going to switch to the good old Ultra Ball. I think Ultra Ball can actually get this done. Fairly smooth, fairly good. And I knew I should have faked it out. I'm level 100, so I'm a little skeptical about hitting these Pokemon. Because I do not want to just fake it out and kill it in one shot. But I think that we might have killed this thing. Mm, I don't know. Would have been cutting it close. Definitely would have been cutting it close. Like, I can't use a move like Icy Wind or something. Cannot use a stab move because I know for a fact that I'll kill it. But I probably should have brought my False Swipe Pokemon. Probably should have brought my False Swipe Pokemon. Probably would have been the play. Probably would have been the play. But for now, we're just going to let this thing hit up. I can actually um, maybe swap it to my Breloom put this thing to sleep but it's fine it's fine we're just gonna catch this thing with a nice lover or ultra ball if it's gonna give us some time yeah huck my ultra ball over there this one's gonna catch you guys i got you guys don't worry there's two shakes give me a third lock it down baby told you it was gonna catch it there's all the pokemon for spacious cave let's let's move on to our next biome Moving on to our next biome, which is the Rocky Cave. You guys can actually find three rare spawns in this biome right here. Technically two, because one is for Brilliant Diamond and one is for Shining Pearl. In the Rocky Cave, you guys can find Rhydon, which we just found in the Spacious Cave, and then Gligar, who is right here, for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and only in Shining Pearl, you can find Teddy Ursers. So we're only gonna be catching one here, but we're gonna count it as two, because same spot, you find Teddy Ursers in one game, the other game, you find Gligars, like we do have one right here. And they're pretty uh, decent spawn rate. I think they're about 30%. So you guys shouldn't be really troubling for it. But I believe they are post-game, though. I believe these are post-game rare spawns only. Let's start a quick ball, lock it down, and finish up with this biome. Next up is one of my favorites, the Fountain Spring Cave. And in here, you can find Lickitung, who we already found. Togepi, who is like the rarest spawn here. Roltz, who is another great rare spawn. And then Swablu, who we already found. And Gibble, when you get into the post-game. But... Can I finesse my way through this crawl on? See if we can find anything. Let's see. Let's see. If we got. Oh, there's a rare spawn. Lick a tongue right there. But I'm just going to make my way back here and do this one. But there are a decent amount and a lot of cool ones in this biome. But a lot of them we already caught, so which is good. So we just need to call it. And I'm surprised Dratini is not a rare spawn. He's just a post game spawn, which is a little weird. But Dratini is pretty rare in here. And he's a great catch. So if you guys are looking for Dratini, he is right there. But we got to catch Gibble, Togepi, Roltz, and ch -ch -ch, what is the last one? And what is the last one? Let me look at my list real quick. And no, that's it. It's just Gibble, Roltz, and Togepi on our list. So we're just going to head back in, head back out, and see if we can find one of the rare spawns. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Come on. I'm feeling good with this one. There's a rare spawn right here. A Bidoof. Come on. What is this? Get out of my face. First one in the Fountain Spring Cave. Found my main man, Roltz, over here. And Roltz is a cool character. You guys can actually get him um, before post game. You get him and Togepi. And I believe only inside here is the only spot where you can get Togepi in the pregame. Which is pretty cool. But Roltz is a cool Pokemon because it can evolve into a Gallade. And we actually found a boy one. Only boy ones can actually evolve into Gallade, which is pretty cool. So let's catch this thing up and look for that Gibble and the uh, Togepi for the final two in the Fountain Spring Cave. One of the greatest Pokemons in this game at the moment. It is Togepi right here. Or I should say Togekiss. Togekiss is an absolute beast. And I've been loving using it in double battles. Because that thing is phenomenal in online battles. One of the best Pokemon I think ever in online rank battles. But here is Togepi right here. Should be a fairly easy catch right here with Quick Ball. I don't think it's going to put up that much of a fight. But now that I said it, I think it will put up a fight. But let's see. Come on, yo. Click it down. Click it down. There it is. Let's lock that thing out and go find ourselves a Gibble. Look at the boy, Gibble. I'll let him come after me. He runs after me. He just wants to be caught here. But I'm telling you guys, I found like four Gab Bites in here before I found one Gibble. And I was just like, nah, I'm not settling for a Gab Bite. We're doing the rare spawn. We're going to find ourselves a lovely little Gibble here who I should be able to fake out and not kill. Let's see. Fake out. That poor Gibble. Rest in peace. It's all good. We got to show off the location of Gibble. We're moving on to our next biome, which is the Grassland Cave. And you guys can catch three rare Pokemon in here. Basically two per game because one is going to be Brilliant Diamond exclusive. And the other one is going to be Shining Pearl. So for Brilliant Diamond, you can catch yourselves a lovely little Scyther here. And in Shining Pearl, you can catch yourselves a awesome Pinsir. But a little fun fact is, you guys can catch uh, starters in post game. If you guys haven't checked out my starter video, 
definitely go check it out. But the third Pokemon, the third rare spawn in this uh, biome is going to be Absol. Absol spawns in a lot of different biomes. So needless to say, you guys can pretty much head into any single biome. See, there she is and find her. But there's Absol. We are looking for Scyther because I do have Brilliant Diamond. We do not have Shine and Pearl. So Pinsir is here. We're not going to be showcasing me catching it, but you guys get the gist. You guys know where Pinsir's at. But Scyther should be a rather easy spawn here. I don't think it's that rare. I think it's like a 30% drop, maybe a little bit higher, maybe just a tad bit lower, but somewhere around there, Scyther or Pinsir should drop for you guys. So hopefully we can actually get it in this go and uh, get rocking out by catching that thing. Where's he at? There he is. Look at my boy. Look at my boy right there. Look at my wonderful boy. And we actually swapped our Weebile. We kind of put him in punishment. We said, hey, yo, Weebile, we're getting sick of you. We're getting sick of you. We're going to send out my Lithic here and, you know, just throw a quick ball at this Pokemon. I mean, I could put it to sleep. I mean, I feel like if I hit it with it, any moves, we're just going to kill it. I should definitely have, like, a lower level Pokemon in here, but it's working out fine. Let's just huck this Quick Ball and catch ourselves a lovely little Scyther. And, of course, it's going to pop out. So, this one's going to be a bear for us. All right, Scyther, it is time for you to get inside this Ultra Ball. It is time for you. Come on, man. There's a Wiggle. Give me two. Give me three. Lock it down. Thank the Lord this thing took me a little bit. Moving on to the Icy Cave where you guys can find five rare spawns here. Some of these we already caught. You guys can actually find Magnemite, Swinub, Smoochum, Swablu, and Snowrun. So we're going to be looking for, what is that, three of the Pokemon or two of them? Yep, three of the Pokemon. We need Swinub, Smoochum, and uh, Snowrun. So here's a little Swinub right here. And there is a nice little Swablu right here. So we had a double rare spawn here. And there's other cool Pokemon that spawn here like Mr. Mime. Aaron got a lot of cool Pokemon in here, but here's my boy swine up. Let's just throw ourselves a wonderful little quick ball Where's my quick balls at there we go, and I don't think swine up should be too hard I think this quick ball should do the job if not maybe one ultra ball So let's see there's a wiggle give me two give me three and lock it down beautiful Let's move on to the next one like I said We still need smooch them who I think is the highest uh, or is the rarest one out of those three actually maybe snow run. I think they're like pretty similar but swine not too hard to find like i just showed off we found him first try just by walking in this place but let's keep moving over here see if there's anybody nope let's go in and out smooch him or what's the other one smooch him or snow run we gotta find him watch we're probably gonna find a gladly before we find a snow run which could be awful and yo look at it is that a wall ring? is that a wall ring or the second stage that's that looks like a wall ring to me that's pretty tough if you can find wall rings here that's pretty sick i think that's dope i haven't seen that before haven't seen that. I did not think you could find a lot of third stages. I just thought you could find a bunch of second stages, but hey, it is what it is. And yo, this Magnemite, this Magnemite actually blended in with the snow. Another rare spawn, but yo, we're going to run from you. We're not dealing with you. We got ourselves double smoochum alert. Look at him just chasing after me. Come on, who's going to touch me first? Ah, uh, this one wants me. This one wants me over here. We'll capture this one. This one's going to be shiny, though. Nah, could you imagine? Could you imagine if that was shiny? But we got one more left in the Icy Cave, which is Snow Runt. And I think he might be the rarest. I've been seeing a bunch of Glalies. A bunch of them. I've probably seen like four or five. And still no Snow Runt. Still no Snow Runt. Definitely want to find that little dude. Definitely want to catch him. Add him to my Pokedex. Definitely want to add that boy to my Pokedex. But oh, yo. What you mean, Smoochum? You don't want to go into that quick ball? He's going to mean look me so I cannot run away. Get on out my face, but we pretty much have all the rare spawns done. A couple more after we catch these next two. So, video's almost over. Sad face. That's just definitely a sad face. Because, you know, we wish there was more rare spawns. But let's head into our Ultra Balls. Maybe Ultra Ball can give us some luck here. Surprise Smoochum actually hopped out of that Quick Ball. Surprised at that. There's a Wiggle. I think Ultra Ball should have the, have the luck. No, it does not. This Smoochum right here is lucky that I need him in my Pokedex. Because I should just hit him with a Scald for not going in that Quick Ball. We throw another Ultra Ball here. There's two Wiggles. There's three. Lock it down. There we go. Smooch him in the Pokedex. Look at this. A giant Glalie with his Sun Snow Run over here. We do not want you, Glalie. We want this little Snow Run here. The final one in the Icy Cavern. We are now sitting at three more Pokemon for the Rare Spawn. And it's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. Again, if you guys do enjoy the content or do enjoy the guides or find it helpful at all, if you guys found a Pokemon using this, leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed, yo, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the Jeans YouTube channel. It is awesome. And we do some fun content over here. Sitting here in the Dazzling Cave, which is the final biome that we have to go to. And there are multiple rare Pokemon that spawn here. You can find Togepi's, 
Houndoom Smoochum, who is right in front of us. And then there is one that we haven't found yet, which is Elect Kid, and another one, which is Dust Skull. Alongside with Rolls and Absolute, you can also find. But we're here for that Elect Kid and Dust Skull. Let's see if we can find them. Those are basically the last two we need because Magby is the third out of the 19, or lucky number 19, the last one that we need. But that is Shining Pearl exclusive. And you can find him in the volcanic uh, biome. So any of the fire ones, you guys can find Magby's. But Elect Kid, you can find over here alongside with Dust Skull alongside with Duskull. So we're going to be looking for those last two and rocking out with those Pokemon. But look at that. There's nice little Dusk Cops, but we're not looking for them. We're looking for this guy right here. Little baby bro over here. Dusk Skull. There we go. Let's catch him and pretty much finish up this rare spawn guy. Because like I said, we just need one more, which is Elect Kid. And I'm pretty sure he's a bit rare. He's a bit rarer than Duskull. But I think it was funny how we found Dusk Cops and then Dusk Skull right after each other. Same thing with a Snow Run and Glalie. We found uh, Glalie and Snow Run was just chilling there with him. But Dusk Skull is captured. Let's search this room for a Let Kid now. Actually, in the Dazzling Cave, it is not a rare spawn, but I figured I'd let you guys know that you guys can catch Dittos. Look, there's just a Ditto chilling here. But over here is our final guy, a Let Kid. Final of the 19 rare spawns there are a lot of cool pokemon that you guys can actually catch post game like you guys have been seeing in videos that are not considered rare spawns like ditto dratini and etc you guys probably saw a bunch of other cool pokemon but let's finish this one off catch the final rare pokemon and uh complete our list complete our list so we call it 17 and then i think it was 17 right and then there was two no there was three that we couldn't catch because three of them are exclusive to shine and pearl which is teddy urser magby and pincer and then obviously brilliant diamond gets elect kid uh, who was it? Elect Kid, Scyther, and Liger, which is pretty cool. I do like I do like the exclusives with the underground. I think they did a pretty good job separating them. I just think it is a pain to actually evolve Magby in Diamond and Elect Kid in Pearl because you know getting their evolutions item is really really tough. But if you guys want to see a video on me uh, explaining where to get every single evolution item, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll definitely give you guys a good video and give you guys a full guide on how to do that. But let's throw one more Ultra Ball here. I have a feeling this is it. I have a feeling this is it. Come on, Elect Kid. Hop in that and stay in there. Ah, he ain't budging today. This Elect Kid is no joke. It ran me out of my Ultra Ball, so we are now moving on to Timer Balls. Hopefully, we can lock it in with this one. There's a Shake. There's two. Come on, Timer Ball. There it is. Let's go. All 19 rare spawns. Check that off the list. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. All 19 rare spawns in the Grand Underground for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pro. Here are all the Pokemon we caught. Granted, we killed the Gibble with the Fake Out, if you guys were watching that. That was kind of funny. And then the other three are all Shiny Pro exclusives. That would be the Magby, the Pinsir, and the Teddy Urser. Yeah, Teddy Urser's last one. But that's all 19. I know what a lot of you guys are probably thinking, like, hey, yo, Jeans, where's Munchlax at? Munchlax isn't really considered a rare spawn. I don't know why. The guy that I'm going off of does not have Munchlax on it, but if you guys are looking for Munchlax, he is in the Grassland Cave, rare spawn, just keep walking around with him, you can actually get him pre-post game, so if you guys look for him, that's the area, but guys, that is going to be it for today's video, if you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button, so you know my videos go live, seriously, you guys rock out, make sure you spread the positive every day, and I'll catch y'all in the next one, peace out everybody.